Hey, y'all. Well, are y'all ready? I am. <laughs> or I think I am. Let's put it that way. I want to make sure that I'm correct here. I'm pretty sure I am, but it's always good to, to make sure. And uh, we are going to be doing uh, Metal Smith tonight using Miss Lillian's uh, kit, uh, active uh, paints. And she has um, eight colors. And there's seven kits, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, first, I want to welcome everyone here. And um, y'all, there are some tornadoes down around Texas, so we need to remember them in our prayers and hope that everybody stays safe. So I know it's really been humid here today, and we all hate those sirens going off. And uh, I'm sure that a lot of us know what that is like. So, But anyway, we are going to be doing... A horse a horse head we're gonna make him pretty <laughs> and I have a surprise um, I was going to do a book but I went ahead and did the book because I have uh, something else that I wanted y'all to see and I think you're really gonna like it so um, I haven't uh, before I go any further I really want to stress that with the metal smith paints these have medical particles in them. It is very important that you shake these, okay? And I just want to make sure, I, I want to remind you all throughout this process tonight to do that. Uh, but first, uh, we want to welcome you, and uh, I'm going to introduce myself. I am Renee Holder of Two Chatty Chicks, and I am from Little Rock, Arkansas. And um, if y'all are on watching live, hashtag live, if you're watching the replay, just put in hashtag replay. And most importantly, be sure and leave a comment that you shared this live and you'll be put in a drawing for one of uh, Miss Lillian's original no wax chalk paint and the eight ounce. And you don't want to miss out on that. So be sure and let everybody know that you shared. And we're glad you're here. We appreciate it. And I am going to be using, oh, I'll show you the book. Isn't that cool? I didn't use every color. I didn't use the Mesa Sky or the, um, or the Malachite. I used a little bit of all of the other colors. And as you can see on the back, I did go ahead and prime the book. But look at that rust. I'm telling you, that looking at it, I wish y'all could see it the way that I do. It literally looks like you could flick it and it would just peel off because it looks so much like rust. And y'all, if you have any questions, be sure and ask because I can't really see who's asking the questions. But Miss Lillian is here to answer any of your questions. And uh, I may have a few along the way and she'll answer them for you. So, um... And as y'all come on, let us know where you're from. Uh, we love to know where everybody is from. So, let's see. Like I said, she has eight colors. There are seven kits. And she has uh, the green patina activator, which is a spray like this. And she has the rust and then the turquoise. And again, make sure you shake these up because of the metal particles in them. It's really important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn y'all down and we're going to get at it, okay? Alrighty. Let's see. I'm, I'm thinking that y'all might, so that I can see, I want to make sure that y'all are able to see that really well. And, again, I haven't gotten these ready because it's really important. I wanted to make sure that I had these stirred up really well. And I thought I had that one open. But y'all can see I'm finicky about the way that I open them. I always use a knife like this. That way I can pull it, I can wipe it, and I'm not wasting any of that product. Easy to open. And then I'm just going to pour just a little. 
because if that's not enough, I can always pour a little more. Uh, and this color is the Mercury. We're gonna be using that one. Oh, man. See, that's why you always clean your lids off and then you don't have that issue. And this is the bronze. I'll probably use a little more than that. And the copper. And it doesn't take long for that to settle. So, again, you really want to make sure you... Uh, Shake them up really well. And we're gonna be using the lapis. And we're, as usual, gonna be pushing the envelope here. Because normally what we do is we do one coat, and on the skull, I'm not gonna use the primer. I've done several of these, and I've not had any issues. But normally you use the primer, like on the book, and you have these two colors, and I really do love the, the two colors. They're great. And you'll see why I chose um, this color for the latter part that I'm gonna show y'all, because I wanted that undertone of that color. And y'all, I'm just gonna use a chip brush, and I don't really think about what I'm doing because it kinda has a mind of its own so I'm going to start with the mercury first, and I am going to put it on a little thicker than normal because I'm going to put on a little area, and then I'm going to use the activator spray. Normally, I would put a coat on and dry it and come back in and put another coat and then use the activator, but we're going to push the envelope tonight. And I was going to dry it with a hair dryer, but I blew a fuse a while ago, so I don't want everything to go black right in the middle of the live. So we're going to play and hope for the best. And I don't have any doubt that it'll work. As you can see, I'm using the same brush because I'm not going to mind if it mutes in certain areas and I'm just wiping it off with a towel. And I'm pretty well getting it all off. Y'all, these are some of the coolest finishes. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use the, both the green spray, the activator spray, because it's the metal particles in the paint and the activator spray that cause the process to work and turn it like this, because this is what it looks like until it activates. And then this is the turquoise, and I have a hair there. I'm going to flick him out. And you know what? Sometimes <clears throat> I will even lift it to let that run just a little. And <clears throat> I would show you all again, but I'm really afraid to turn the blow dryer on. But there's times that I've taken my blow dryer and like I would push some of the color around kind of like you do in a paint pour, actually. And I know a lot of y'all probably know what that is, but that way I can manipulate it. But I'm gonna raise this up. You can kind of see how this is doing right there. That is so cool. I just wished I could, I'm so afraid of turning that blow dryer on. And you know what, that is blending more than what I want. So I'm going to get another brush. And y'all, I kind of dress him up. And I don't want to move that too much because I definitely want y'all to be able to see. Afterwards. 
colors. You can uh, put flowers. You can get a small wreath. Uh, just so many different ways that you can dress him up. And what we may have to do for this to dry and to start processing is set this aside and let it activate. But I'll set it to where y'all can see, hopefully. And then I will show y'all what I worked on next. And you can put flowers up here. I got some that I picked up from um, the Dollar Tree that kind of cute. I thought I would lay up there for y'all to see. And the eyeballs. You can do stuff with the eyeballs as well. Um, I'll show y'all that in a minute. Let me get all of this on. And I can show y'all that while this is activating and two we can uh, we can do the teeth i tell you what that's pretty cool just in itself but while i have that turned i'm going to go and it's good and wet i'm going to go ahead and spray that and again, I'm using both. And I really like how that's running down the side. So I'm just going to leave that. And I can already see this here turning a little green in the turquoise. And I'll show you all something else. If you're like me, I'm kind of impatient sometimes. So there's also another little trick that Miss Lillian has created, and that is the powder. And it works faster. This one is the copper. It helps just speed up the process, and it's just a powder. So I'm just gonna take and sprinkle that around. That's the copper, this is the bronze. And she also has an iron, and that's that's how I got the iron uh, so strong on the book, was by using the powder. And then whenever you get that, then you take your spray and you want to wet the, the powder. Turquoise. I think I accidentally picked up the rust spray, but that's okay. He is going to be very, very cool. I love how that is running and blending together. The lapis is just really pretty. You know, I really, I'm going to turn the dryer on just a second, so y'all hold your breath, and let's hope that I don't blow another fuse. <laughs> if we do, I'll just open the garage door. can already see right here where that is turning green right here all right let's see I want just a little that right there and y'all don't forget now if you share uh, the live, be sure and let uh, them know, make a comment so that uh, you can be put in for the drawing for the 8 ounce of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. And if y'all have any 
projects that y'all would like for us to do, be sure and let us know, and we will do that as well. And let us know where you're from. Y'all, that is really turning out cool. I'm going to raise that up one more time so that y'all can kind of see. And I'm hoping that y'all can see that. Oh, and before I move that, I'll show y'all an idea. Um, these are some knobs that I found somewhere. And later, I won't do it right now, but later I will also... Uh, patina these, and then I will glue them in to his eye sockets. Isn't that cool? Or I have, I don't have any on hand, but you know the big glass ones like these, you can take and glue them in, and those are really cool. And this is a lid off of one of those silver teacups, and I just kind of use some of Miss Lillian's um, I think it was uh, pres the Precious Metal Gems, and then I um, could glue them on there for a little different look. I thought that was kind of cool, so I hope y'all can see that. So there's all different ways that you can do that, and look, it's turning green right before your eyes. I think that is so cool. So I'm going to turn him that way and move some of this. So that y'all can see what I'm going to be doing. This is on canvas. And as you can see on the side, I used the primer. And I did that after I done the finish on the front. I just used a um, one of these, one of these rollers, and was very careful not to let it go over the edge. And if I saw any, I just took a rag and wiped it right off. But I absolutely love how this turned out. And I used the blow dryer to push it around to the way that I wanted. And I just think it is so pretty. And we're going to put a stencil on top of this for kind of like a mixed media. So you could really do a lot of art on this piece. I think it's phenomenal. Uh, you could also take and um, after we even done this process or, or before, you could use the two-part epoxy over it and I'm, it's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. But what I'm gonna do is I took the stencil and I don't know I'm going to have to move him, unfortunately, so that y'all can see this because I want you to be able to see. And what I've done is I've taped it off right there. And I'm going to outline this. And we are using Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels to stencil with. And... You know, you could use two or three different stencil on this if you wanted to. And I was going to, but I thought I would just, to make it simplified, I would just use the one. And I'm not using any spray adhesive on this, on the back, but you could. And you can get this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, anywhere like that. So, and if again, if y'all have any questions... Uh, Miss Lillian is there to answer. And be sure and share and you and let us know that you have and your name will be put in the drawing to win one of Miss Lillian's original no wax chalk paints in the eight ounce. And we really do appreciate y'all watching and sharing. Okay, and, and y'all, I always, whenever I'm putting this on with a stencil brush, I always offload because you don't want too much. You can always come back and add more. And I always start out and I work in. Like I'm going to start out here to the edge 
and I'm gonna work in and y'all this is very unusual for me just to use one color but I really wanted this to stand out and I am using Miss Lillian's oh I've already wore it off it's the gold okay are y'all ready isn't that pretty I just thought that was so pretty and I'm gonna come down here I won't do the whole thing but what I'll do is I will come down here and I will do the same thing and I'm gonna do it on all four corners and I'm making sure that I have it the same and I already had these measured off and after I do this one I will uh, go to the center and do the large cross of course it doesn't take very long I guess I could go ahead and finish the whole thing that way it will give the um, the horse plenty of time and he is processing y'all it's really cool okay very pretty all right, I'm going to turn this. Oh, and another thing. I didn't want paint getting on the back back here. So I taped this off and I put pins so that it will rest up off of my surface. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull that tape off. Make sure y'all can see that. What pro those of you that have ever used Miss Lillian's products before, uh, let us know what y'all like best, and especially what is your favorite color. I love going back and reading and see what everybody's favorite color is. Funny thing is, is every time I use one color, that's my favorite color, and then... I do another color and then that's my favorite color but they're all so pretty and vibrant I love all the colors that she I believe there's 150 of the no wax chalk paint colors and y'all it doesn't take much of this and again you can use paint to stencil with the main thing is just make sure that you offload first. It's really important. I've even used the gilding jewels uh, on fronts of um, furniture pieces that have been just really pretty. It put that finishing touch on it. And they're so easy to use. It doesn't take much. And uh, for like the edges of a piece, you just use your finger. And I have moved that. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh, yes. Very pretty. I want this in here a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go back and add just a little more because I really want that to pop. You know, it has, I have forgotten how many colors there are of the uh, gilding jewels. And I should know that, but I have every color, sometimes two or three of the same color because I'm afraid I'll run out. But, y'all, they last forever. Okay. I think that's so pretty and I was actually thinking of coming in but I'm afraid that would be too much so take the tape off well, I said I was all right let me turn this 
so that y'all can see it up close and personal. I really think that's really neat. Oh, I almost knocked my, that would not have been cool. All right. Let me set this aside and I can finish that later and I'll uh, post pictures whenever I'm done. That is so cool, y'all. He has patinaed. He's still got a process to go because as he dries, it will be more and more as it dries. And this is still really pretty wet. But like I said, we were really pushing the envelope, but he's really going to be cool. So, and if y'all have any questions, be sure and ask. And uh, we appreciate all the shares and the likes. And let's see. I'll show y'all right quick on the book. I just can't believe that is so cool. But you don't really want to go in any random, uh, any pattern. It's best if you just do random. But like on the book, right quick, I'll just show y'all. I didn't really pick any pattern. I just put it on anyway. And like on the book, I did want some of the colors to intermix, which was fine. And let's see, I'll just wipe this one off. In. But see, I really liked, and that was what I liked about the canvas. I liked this color. If I didn't have all of the patina colors everywhere, then that color was coming through. See, like that? I think that's cool how that color is coming through on that. And then... A little bit of the bronze, not a lot, just a little. Okay. And like I said, normally we would take and put our first coat on, let it dry, come back, and then while the second coat uh, is wet, it's whenever you want to spray it. And <clears throat> I was going to do the rust, but I like the rust by itself. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this first instead of spraying first, because you go ahead and put the um, this is the copper. And then this is the bronze. And I'm just I'm not you I've had this stuff forever. And I'll make sure I get the right spray this time. This is the turquoise. And then this is the green patina activator spray. I would love to have been the one to have thought about that. Isn't that cool? Okay, and then as that dries, it is going to start turning. And he's even turning even more just as I'm standing here. See how that's turning and activating? That is just really cool. Oh, look at the teeth. Y'all, I forgot to do the teeth on the other side. I'll have to do them. So, and I'm going to scoot this over. And I can't set them on there because he's wet. But I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. To kind of show you, you know what, you could take these and glue them on and just really pretty him up. You could put jewels on here. Just an array of different things to add to make him pretty. And they're very popular items right now. So, I think he's really going to be cool. And let's try just a little bit of heat on here. You can kind of see how that hair dryer is kind of blowing that around, which I think is really kind of cool.
everybody. Be sure and let them know. And uh, as we're winding up here, we will wait for Miss Lilins to uh, pick a winner. I will turn this up so that I can see. And we really do appreciate everyone uh, stopping by and watching and sharing. And um, if you uh, would love it, if you'd hop over and give two chatty chicks a like, we'd really appreciate it. And oh, y'all, he's ch the book is the book is turning. <laughs> it's already turning. So, and I'll show y'all the canvas again. up close. Isn't that cool? I mean, there's still so much more that you could do to this. Um, I just, I love this. And again, if you were to do a two-part epoxy pour over this, it would be stunning. Uh, it looks like uh, 10 coats of varnish. Oh, the winner is Polly Mason. Congratulations. You are the winner of Miss Lillian's original no wax chalk paint in the eight ounce. So be sure and contact them through Messenger and uh, they'll get all of your information and see what color you want. So uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by and uh, it really means a lot and uh, I enjoy doing it and we hope everyone has a wonderful evening. So y'all have a blessed day and we'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.